On the stickers, it tells you what the shelf life is. Self-reliance is a central tenet of Mormon church doctrine. Members are encouraged to build up large supplies of food and water as a nest egg for their families. In our church, we've been taught that we should have a year supply, which in my home, I don't know that I could fit a year supply of food. It's a small home, but um, we've been taught to plan for a rainy day. That day came in 2009 when Jody Rudder's husband lost his job during the financial crisis. He had worked for a pharmaceutical company and for about 10 years and they did a major layoff. A lot of people lost their jobs. The family leaned heavily on their own resources in the two years it took him to find work, reflecting a more modern, practical approach to food storage. A lot of times we think in terms of food storage is this we're preparing for this major calamity or major disaster or for uh, Armageddon. Certainly it's not about that. It's about helping all of us individually just to get through these bumps that occur in our life. Life's unexpected downturns have made food storage a large undertaking. The church has a massive warehouse in Salt Lake City to stock 143 grocery-like storehouses across the country for members in need. It also runs 101 food storage centers where anyone can buy large size items that are comparably priced to bulk food stores. A culture of storing and saving that has gone mainstream. Maggie Mazzetti, Associated Press.